So we are fast approaching an empty nest and we decided to buy a little camper and a truck to hit the open road. So we bought a Heartland Mallard, uh, the M210RB RV travel trailer, and then we got a Dodge Ram 1500 Bighorn. And this is the video about getting it set up, ready to go on our first trip, taking our first trip, and then how that went. So our ultimate goal is to hit all the national parks. Now that is a big goal because there's like 60 of them. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a little map on the wall. And every time we visit one, we're going to take a picture and then we'll hang a, a picture of every national park or national monument or, you know, there's hundreds of those. Um, just as we travel the countryside, we'll put a little thing on the wall. Now, we're going to start smaller because we've never RV'd, we've never done any of this before. So we're going to start smaller and we're going to start closer to home. We live in Nashville, so we're going to start visiting state parks first just to get traveling in our blood and make sure we have all our kinks worked out before we hit the open road and drive off to Alaska <laughs> or something like that. Um, so I think we'll probably start off with a smaller goal of seeing all the Tennessee state parks. Tennessee's a beautiful state. And we might as well see that first. So made some checklist. Been watching lots of videos during the COVID crisis. And made a checklist to set up. Which unhook, get the outdoor set up, and get the indoor set up. And then made a checklist for teardown. So getting the indoor shut down, the outdoor shut down, and then hooking the RV up. All that's to keep us from messing things up and breaking something. Forgetting to do something. So I think we got a good list there. The other thing we did was we created a list of, we, we're trying to put everything in container. We're not full-time RVers. So we are going to be coming and going lots, mostly starting out on weekends. And we want to make sure that we can get in there quickly and do our thing and pack up quickly and tear down quickly and know we've got what we need when we get on the road. So we've made all these containers so we have these different bins, and a lot of them stay in the RV, or they stay in a, a garage here, and then we throw them in the truck real quick, and we know we're ready to go. And then some are just things that we know we need to have full of certain things when we walk out the door. And what we've done is bought all those things. So <laughs> we found all the things that we need. Some of the stuff, like all this stuff, we just bought because it's going to stay in the RV even though we're not full-timers, we just don't want to be carrying it back and forth. Um, and then a lot of it's stuff we need to just make sure that we have. Uh, so we'll have a little checklist. And if we're out of things like toilet paper, we'll just add it to the list. And we went through and we decided what are the things that we absolutely have to have. And we got those things for our first trip. And then we went through and we decided some of the things that we would like to have and we got some most of those things. And then we've got a near-term, short little, little list of things that we'll buy as time goes on. And hopefully, I think we're pretty organized. So I'll show you the containers next. All right, we, this is our RV stash. We're ready. Going to pick up the RV to load it all up. So we gotta find a place to park it when we get here. I'm thinking over here. Mm -hmm. We'll just have to pull in there, back in there. That way we can let the slide out. And it'll be off the main road. So as you can see, now I'm a planner. I mean, almost as much fun as going on trips is planning. I mean, I'm a, I'm a spreadsheet guy, as you can see. Um, but during COVID-19, the world was basically shut down. So we bought a camper right before the quarantine started. And then I did tons and tons of research about checklists and all that kind of stuff. And it actually worked out great because we couldn't go get in the camper and go anywhere and start messing up. Uh, it gave me a lot of time to get our plan together uh, before we got out on the road and to do more research probably than I would have done otherwise. So it worked out well. Now, once we got everything that was on our list, we had to go get the RV set up. So our RV is in storage. It just, it parks in a lot across town. And we had to go pick it up for the first time together. Emily and I went and we started to work through our, 
our checklist for the first time. So we went to get the brand new RV that was empty. Uh, we got it out of storage. We brought it over to our house to get everything set up. All right, we're pulling away for the first time. I'm nervous. I'm nervous too. My second time. First time with mom. Let's don't wreck it while we go on our maiden journey. That's what I'm saying. Can you see the cars around you? Yeah. We're also, as we drive home, we're going to come up with a name for our RV. That's your homework. Here we go. Please don't hit anything. I don't know if that's the name, though. I think we need to sleep on it. Roller. Well, we can always change it, but... Let's not make anything official, then. We talked about a few names, but we're going to go with Roller right now. Little Roller, because it's a little camper. And then if we get a bigger camper, we'll call it Big Roller. If we get an Airstream... I just don't think it's creative enough. Emily you. says we have to go Roller just so that it goes with my handle, but we Dino need to, Rolls. We need to do something besides Roller. Yeah. We can. I like Roller, though. When we get the Airstream, it'll be called Aluminum Roller. That's not creative at all. You're much more creative than us. We don't really have to go with that. We could just name it a name. I like Roller, though. I want something that says, we we're on the road. We're going. That's our house up there. That's our truck right there. That's a little roller right there. Mm, don't. Little roller. You're committing to Little that. roller. <laughs> We're going to pop that slide out and load this bad boy up and be ready to hit the road. Right, Mom? Oh, it's hot today. Yeah, it's we hot. We always pick a bad day, though. And then once we got home, we basically started moving in. Um, we parked the RV right outside our condo. And we sold our house a couple, a couple of years ago and moved into a condo so that we could basically not have to deal with home ownership as much and we could be in the RV. Um, but that also doesn't give us a place to park the RV that's near us, which is why we have to store it. And that's fine. This is all part of the goal. Um, but we had all of our stuff in our condo and we basically were moving in. It's just like moving into a house. So we started bringing things from the house and getting it into the RV. And Emily worked on the inside and I worked on the things that were on the outside and it was very hot, and I made trips back and forth from the condo to the RV, bringing her things that she could put away. And then once I got finished outside with the things I was working on, we both got inside and we finished up on the inside and got everything put away. Emily did a good job of coming up with all the little containers and things that would hold the things in place while we're moving down the road. And once we got everything moved in, we took it back to the storage facility drove across town now our storage facility is not really that close because there's none near us that were empty and that's not really ideal but it doesn't really matter I mean we're going on a trip anyway so the we just start a little we start about an hour early when we are ready to go on a trip but the good thing about the way we've done it is is pretty much everything we need is there um, we will put a couple of containers that we take back and forth from the RV to the condo to replenish things. Um, but pretty much, we'll take a couple of containers with us when we go, but pretty much everything else is in the RV. So uh, our setup process is pretty easy once we decide we're going somewhere. We just load up a couple of containers from our little checklist and we're ready to hit the road. Now at this point, we have everything set up and we are ready to hit the road on our first trip ever. Uh, we wanted to take a short trip just to practice RVing because we had never pulled a trailer, we'd never backed into a camping space and all that kind of stuff. And we wanted to make sure we had our process down pat and we wanted to make sure we had all the items that we needed and that we did not get there and not have things that we needed. So we just wanted to go somewhere a very short trip, so we just... Uh, shot up the road and picked a place very close that was also in a city that we could go to the store and buy all the things that we missed that were on <laughs> that should have been on our list but we just didn't even think about. We 
where we're going. Who's in the back? <laughs> He's adjusting very well. He does much better when I'm not in the truck, I guess. We're here to hook up to the camper. <laughs> Got ready to get the checklist that I've worked on for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> the checklist is laying on the kitchen counter. <laughs> Emily! <laughs> It's, it's totally, not my fault. Totally Emily's fault. It is not. You laid them on the kitchen counter. I don't know why. Uh, he just said he needs to make a back checklist. Up. He needs to make a <laughs> checklist to remember to get the checklist. Just sheer stupidity. So is this how it's going to be? And Samson's hyperventilating. <laughs> All right, so the first weekend that we decided to go camping was also the first weekend that the entire state of Tennessee opened back up after covid so the place that we wanted to go was packed. <laughs> there was no availability. And the only really place was close by was kind of Clarksville, Tennessee. And it was at this RV park that's literally right on the interstate on one side. And then there's like a uh, junkyard on the other side. <sighs> Not the most beautiful, tranquil <laughs> setting that you would think it would be, but it was actually worked out perfect for our first trip. And since part of our goal is to see all the Tennessee State Parks, Port Royal State Park was there in the neighborhood. So that was the first park that we decided to go see. And then we also went to see Liberty Park. And I'm going to make a separate video about those things because that has nothing to do with this first RV trip, really. But they were fun. So like that's the, see that and that, and then there's a, that's where the covered bridge used to be. It's the Red River, and there's the Sulfa Fort. Point seven miles around the lake, so we're, we're going to do that. Frogs. Newbie lesson number one, a little fiasco. Joey had the tanks reversed. <laughs> I had the gray tank closed and the black tank open, which is the exact opposite of the way you're supposed to be. So we're filling the black tank up pretty full right now. Now our containers worked great. So we had the camping and the tools, those go in the truck and then all of our sewer, electrical, clean water and leveling stuff stay in the camper so our little checklist worked great there great system happy with that we've got some clear containers that we take things to and fro and they're working great as well and then it was time to work on our other checklist which was the tear everything down checklist and we worked through that and i'll say our process our little checklist they actually worked pretty well um we had a decent process um most things on this trip went as planned there were a couple of things where we got there and they just didn't work the way we thought they like we did not have hot water and we'll go back to that uh, you know, I think we hooked up the electrical fine. We got everything towed fine. We got everything leveled fine. Um, all of our bins had all the things that we needed. I will say we, we, our site had sewer and I think we had our sewer completely messed up. I had the wrong, I had the wrong thing going on there. But other than that, I think everything went pretty well for a first trip. Not terrible. No one died. Trailer brake works. All right. We did it. Our first time. Oh gosh. Don't hit anything today. Our first time unhooking and solving all of our initial problems, which there were many. Before we hit the open Another room. Another Yorkie. Samson, we didn't come over here to Yorkieville. I'm at Camping World to figure out our little list. I have a feeling there's some user error things on this list. 
<laughs> but we'll see. Maybe there is actually something broken and I'm not just an idiot. <laughs> now I have a few pictures here of the, this is the inside of the water heater, the LP gas water heater. And, uh, because I was reading the instructions on how to get that thing to work because I never did on the trip. Um, there were a, a few other little issues here and there that once I got back to Camper World where we bought the RV, uh, they kind of walked me through a couple of the things that we had issues with. Like we couldn't get the the oven to light and he showed me, we, we tinkered with that a little bit and figured out it wasn't a problem. It was just, I was not doing it correctly. Now the, the water heater actually, there was a, the RV had been winterized and there was a, a valve inside the wall that had not been opened and that was the problem there and once we opened that the LP heater heated right up and I think that was our biggest problem other than that it was a I would call it a success we didn't wreck we didn't have any major injuries and we got to have a fun weekend work out the kinks in our RV didn't feel too stupid along the way and got to see some cool things that we probably wouldn't have seen if we'd have just been sitting on our couch in Nashville I think that's the whole point of all this. More to come.